Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to install and uh, run KeePass, which is a password saving software on an iPad. Go to your store and you want to uh, search for KeePass. Uh, I like KeePass because it runs pretty much the same on all sorts of devices. Now, it's open source, so what happens is a lot of people will get the source code and create their own version. It's really all the same program. Uh, I, in a case like this, I normally look for something that has a, a lot of downloads and a lot of stars. And uh, this one here, KeePass Touch, seems to be the, the one that uh, most people are, are using um, the, that uh, is most like KeePass. And I've installed that on, on my iPad. And I won't show you the install, but here's it is already installed. Just you know, put your fingerprint over on the button and uh, it's open. And uh, you scroll down to whatever uh, website it is that you want to open. And you look over here under the URL line. On the right hand side, you see that little arrow in the box. It opens up its own internal browser and takes you right to the page. You click on you know, username when uh, wherever that needs to go and they will paste it in there and you click on password and then you click and hold and until you get the paste guy and you just click on password and you sign in and that's it. You're all set. So now like I said this is an internal browser so it's not full featured like um, you know other browsers. So if you wanted to use KeePass with say Safari um, what you have to do then is you go and you have to take so it'll take several clicks. First you click on the URL and you copy that into your, your clipboard. Open up Safari and paste it into uh, wherever it is you want to go to up on the top here. Search or enter website. Paste and go and you're at the website. And then go back and click on sign in. I'll go back to KeePass. And now I have to click and hold on the username. And I get that copied, and I have to go back to Safari and click on the, you know, wherever the username goes, paste that in, and still one more step. Then again, for the password, you do the same thing, going back to KeePass, pick up your password in your, your clipboard, and then go back to Safari, and, and uh, you can log in there. Um, now, I'm not going to show you how to save passwords. Uh, I think instead I'll set a, do another video over on Windows and use KeePass there. And uh, it's, it's pretty much the same on, on every sort of device. And that's about all I have to show you right now. Have fun.